Welcome back. I know it's been a minute. I have been really focusing some energy on learning some JavaScript, some stuff for web development that I want to be doing in the future. So that's what I've been focusing on. So I appreciate your patience, but I am back and we will be posting regular once a week videos from this time forward. So in today's video, we are going to be revisiting one of my favorite holsters, but it had one fatal flaw in my opinion. Uh, the crossbreed reckoning. If you haven't seen the initial video on my thoughts of this holster and my review of it, I suggest you go back and watch that. I'll leave a banner up here somewhere. And at the end of this video, I'll also leave a clickable link so you can see, go back and see my initial thoughts on this holster and what it looks like without the claw on it. So extremely comfortable holster. I love my LAS concealment holster. This is probably one of my favorites. However, when it comes to comfort, I have to give the edge in all the holsters that I've tested and reviewed so far to the Crossbreed Reckoning. This is just an incredibly comfortable holster, but it did have that issue of printing. I mean, this printed so, so bad that it was just, I, I just didn't even feel comfortable wearing it. I was constantly trying to, trying to adjust and look down to make sure I wasn't printing too bad. It just, it just wasn't there, so. Uh, I put it to the side a little bit, but come to find out, Crossbreed does offer a claw for this holster, and it should fix the problem when it comes to printing. If that is the case, which we're going to test out right now, then I may, for the summer, switch over to the Crossbreed, reckoning just a little bit more comfortable, especially in these high heat temperatures uh, in Texas, where I'm from. If you haven't seen, go check out the temperatures in Texas. This next week is insane. and. Comfort matters when it comes to everyday carry, especially when you're sweating and it's 106 plus degrees outside. So I may switch over. This has that nice leather backing, just provides a little bit more comfort, a little bit of a guard when it comes to the sweat too. <laughs> so let's see if the claw actually fixed the problem with the printing and the reckoning. Check it out. So as I said, you definitely wanna go check out that other video that I have because it shows you the difference. It'll You'll see the difference. You'll see without the claw and with the claw now with this video. And to me, in my opinion, what do you guys think? Did the claw fix that printing issue? I think I'm comfortable with where I'm at when it comes to the printing of the reckoning uh, with this additional claw on there. It's really easy to put on there. So if you do have one of these and you order the claw separately, I think it's $7 for the claw. Really easy to put on, just take the two screws off put the two longer screws on. You don't want to over tighten and get that uh, retention a little, uh, you know, too tight. So make sure you're aware of that, but it's really easy to put on. And in my opinion, this definitely fixed the printing issue when it comes to the crossbreed reckoning. I'm really excited about trying this out. I'm going on vacation in the next couple days. So I really wanted to uh, wear this holster while I was on vacation and see, give you guys my opinion, see what uh, the claw does and if it is okay to carry without any printing, major printing going on. And in my opinion, this has fixed it. The shirt I'm wearing, this is a pretty tight, snug shirt. I, you know, you add black or you break up colors in your shirt, it's, it's really gonna be, as far as the printing goes, non-existent. Uh, with that being said, I'm going on vacation. I do have a question of the day, I guess you could say, for this video. What do you guys think? I want you to let me know in the comments below. I'm going on vacation. In addition to carrying my SIG P365 as my everyday carry, I love to bring along a kind of home defense setup. We'll be staying in a cabin. So I wanna know, what do you guys think? Should I go with the good old 12 gauge shotgun to bring along with me? This is the SBS Form 1. Should I take the Mossberg 500 shotgun with me on vacation? Or should I go with the good old AR and 300 blackout? You let me know in the comments below. I'm torn. I don't know which one I should bring with me on vacation. I'm pretty proficient with both of them, so that's not an issue. As I said, this is a 300 blackout, eight and a half inch barrel. The shotgun is a 14 inch barrel SBS. This is not an SBR. So you guys let me know what you think. Should I go with the good old 300 blackout for a home defense or should I take the shotgun along with me? Let me know in the comments below. Interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. 
Other than that, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Like I said, I apologize for the delay in the videos, but we will be going back to the regular once a week videos. Probably stick to Fridays. I really like you know getting the video out there before the weekend so you guys can check out the video over your weekend. Anything else, let me know in the comments below. Oh, I do have the winner picked out for the knife. So this is the 800 subscriber giveaway and I just checked and we're far beyond 800. So it'll be another giveaway for the Lone Star Republic Store. All you have to do is like, comment in the videos and I'll pick another winner. So I'll be announcing the winner. I do have that person picked out when it comes to the Ontario Rat Knife Everyday Carry Giveaway. I will catch you all on the next one. God bless.